Most assignments require the students to open an attachment, a Google document or Google slide to complete their classwork. In this video, I'm going to show you how to open the attachment in the application, type in it and turn it in. To begin, click classwork, locate your assignment, read your assignment directions, on the bottom of the screen, notice it says your work and there's an arrow. Click the arrow to open the student attachment view. Once you open your work view, you'll see the title of the attachment the student has to work with. Click on the banner and it takes you to a preview. In this preview, students can see what the assignment looks like but they can't actually type on it. If I click here, it allows me to zoom in but not type. In order to edit the document and type, the student will have to click this button right here, the arrow in the corner. This opens the Google Slide application on the iPad and brings up the document that the student needs to work on. In order to edit the document, simply zoom in and read the directions. Click on the each box to type. For example, we learned that Justin's father fired Max's mom and dad. So each of the boxes in this document is a text box and the student simply needs to click and type in each box. This allows them to work in the document and answer all questions. Once the student has completed the assignment and answered all the questions according to their directions, they need to go back to classroom by clicking this arrow in the top left corner, closing out of the preview of their assignment, and click this pink turn in button. Once the student clicks turn in, it will prompt them to know that one attachment will be submitted to their teacher. When they click the confirmation turn in, the pink button will change from turn in to unsubmit. Once the student has submitted an assignment, they can no longer make changes. They can see their completed work by clicking on the attachment again However, when they open it in Google Apps, they can no longer type or make more changes to it. If they need to edit, they simply unsubmit, make the changes needed, and then submit again. Once it's submitted, it allows the teacher to read the assignment, grade it, and provide them with feedback on their assignment. 